Hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday on a Friday. It's a Frilici Friday. How is everybody doing today? The sun is shining. We have had like a most beautiful week and I think the weekend is gonna be great too. Like um, somebody forgot to tell whoever that it's November. <laughs> this is not like regular November weather, but I'm loving it. So yeah, lots of leaves to rake out there. Again, they just came and like picked up all the leaves. I think last time I was on Facebook Live. So hello, Philomena. Hello, Teresa. So glad you guys can be here with me today and glad to be here on a Friday too. It feels because it wasn't last, the last couple of weeks, it's been on a Thursday, I'm pretty sure, right? Thank you for the share already, Philomena. I appreciate that. Hopefully we can get some fun new friends hanging out with us, um, watching Facebook Live, that would be wonderful. Hello, Christine, welcome. So if you haven't joined me before, um, if you've never been on our Facebook Live for Lychee Friday, welcome to anybody new watching now or later on Facebook or on the YouTube channel. Love to have new people joining us anytime that you are able to. Um, love for you to watch later if you can't watch live. Um, we've got lots of different ways to do that. Like I said, either pull up this this, um, this video right here on our Facebook group, or I always upload um, these Facebook Lives to YouTube. So if you prefer to watch on YouTube, you can do that too. So welcome to anybody new and to all of my regulars too. I love like seeing the same names and faces popping up every week. So, and happy Friday to you, Miss Christine. So you guys, I have, I didn't pick a product of the week this week um, because I was like, you know what? I wanna make some fun. We are gonna make um, some awesome like holiday Christmas like treat ideas. Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate those in a little bit. Um, I did kinda, I guess, focus on um, my favorite sweet, which is the Snowflake Splendor Sweet. It was already the product of the week. I don't know how many weeks ago, so I couldn't do it again. But as I'm looking at the projects, I'm like, yeah, pretty much I did. I threw in some other things too, but I think you guys are gonna really love those treats so I'm excited to share those projects with you and let's see what else do we have going on um oh <clears throat> For me, anyway, I've been like working on the one day retreat is coming up next Saturday. So a week from tomorrow on November 14th, we've got the one day retreat right here in Alma. RSVP deadline has already passed. Um, and the retreat in a box, I've already sold all of those out actually. Um, so can't get those any longer, but you, what you can do that actually, um, kind of features the same products is my, um, what is it called? The Trimming the Town class to go. I'm gonna show you guys those projects in just a little bit. I have just been working on that this week, so I need to get everything uploaded. I haven't emailed or anything about it, but I'm planning to do that tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna give you kind of a sneak preview of my next class to go, featuring, like I said, the Trimming the Town suite, which actually I also featured in the Retreat in a Box and we're gonna be playing with at the One Day Retreat. So love that suite, um, such cute products in there. So I'll be happy and excited to show you guys those in just a little bit. So, all right, I always have to check my notes because I'm like already worried that I, um, yeah, I guess I'm good, right? So um, we have had Stampin' Up! our, what are they calling it, on stage at home event started last night, which was fun. They did a bunch of recognition. Hello, Pamela, welcome, glad you can join us. Um, <clears throat> They recognize so many different categories, which is so cool. Normally we get to go to convention like out in Salt Lake City and people get to walk across the stage and you can wave and get your picture taken. Um, so it was all virtual, obviously, um, but it was still fun to see all the names scrolling by. Hey, Julie. Hey, Susan. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you for the share too, Susan. Um, yeah, so it was fun to see um, so many familiar names kind of going by. Hello, Wanda. Welcome. Glad you can be here with us. Hello, hello. Um, um, yeah, and then the other fun thing, so they did recognition, which was, like I said, basically names kind of scrolling by on a screen for all the different categories that they do recognition for. And then the other really fun thing was they had, I think it was four of our demonstrators that have reached their million dollar sales mark. So the cool thing, when you reach a million dollars in sales, you get to design your own stamp set. So these four gals showed us their stamp set. They kind of gave us like the backstory, the inspiration behind how they came 
came up, you know, with their ideas or images or sentiments or whatever. And then they actually made projects and shared them with us too. And the very best part is all four of those stamp sets are going to be in our next um, the January through June mini catalog. So our next mini catalog. So we got kind of a sneak peek of some new products. Um, and actually, um, it's going on just about now. Um, we've got on stage at home happening basically all day today and all day tomorrow um, as well. So I'm going to be excited to hop back on later and get myself caught up and be, um, yeah, just they're gonna do lots of stamping and sharing. We get to see fun new products, which is always like the highlight of any demonstrator's life, basically is seeing fun new products. Um, so with that being said, if you would be interested in getting like sneak peeks at new upcoming products, maybe consider becoming, well, I say becoming a demonstrator, which I use that very loosely, that demonstrator term, basically buy the starter kit. You become a demonstrator, you can do whatever you want in terms of demonstrating or not. You can have a big Mac Daddy business or you can just use your demonstrator discount to um, get orders basically at a discount. So there's all levels there in there. But the fun part is you get a discount no matter what you do as long as you keep your $300 quarterly minimum up and then you get to um, go to on stage or on stage at home. You get to check out all the fun new products, sneak peeks and all that fun stuff. So you get to be in the know before other people do, which is like, that's always a fun thing, right? So yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, it was just really fun. I basically sat on the couch and just watched on my computer all uh, last night, all of the different recognition categories, and then um, those fun new stamp sets that those four awesome million dollar sales achievers got to um, design. So that's that's always like a huge honor, I would think. You know, I have a long way to go uh, before I would get to that level, but you know, your wheels are always turning. What would I do if I could design a stamp set, right? That would be very fun. So that was awesome. Um, and again, like I said, it's going on the next two days too. So I'll keep you updated on what we learn. I'm sure they'll be sharing some some, uh, you know, new, more new products and new information. So as we get that, I'll be sharing that with you as well. All right. So I think we are ready to do our first drawing, right? So we're going to give away today. <clears throat> this is the gold cord. Um, so it's part of like a ribbon combo pack. I showed you last week and I didn't bring it over this week. Um, but anyway, there's another beautiful, I think it's shaded spruce, um, like a really like one inch wide ribbon that kind of comes in the combo pack with the gold cord. So today we're going to give away the gold cord to anyone that shared the Facebook Live video or signed up for my email list, okay? So your name is in here. So if you are new to me, if you have not signed up to my email list, um, there is always a link on my blog, which is Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. And then after this Facebook Live video is done and I post it, there's like kind of a title up at the top, uh, but I always put a link in there too. So you can always come back um, after I kind of upload and post this video and grab that link, sign up for my email list there, or like I said on my blog, at gatheringinspiration.com. And if you share the video as many times as you share this video right here, your name's going to go in the drawing next week. And I'll tell you what that prize in just a minute, right after we draw for the beautiful gold cord. This is great. I think it's the perfect, um, like width, like, cause it's pretty skinny, like for gift tags. Um, I think that's going to be awesome to use that gold cord on those. And then even, um, just, uh, whatever your holiday projects are, just make cute bows and things with. So, okay. So one lucky name, got lots of names in here. So thank you guys, all the shares. I really appreciate that. So we have Miss Debbie Green. All right, oh, and it's super glary, which is, we cannot complain because the glare means the sun is shining. So Miss Debbie, congratulations. I know I saw that or showed that in there, right? You are the winner of the gold cord. So I will get that sent right up to you. So congratulations, Miss Debbie. She's always very good about sharing. So I appreciate the shares. I especially appreciate, so, Sharing on your personal page is awesome. Sharing in any crafting groups you are a part of, um, that is like like mega, mega awesome. So that's cute, Philomena. Um, Cause that helps me reach new stampers, new crafters, new friends, which is good for business, right? Always bringing in new customers and friends and just um, sharing the love of stamping with them too. So yeah, okay, so this week we are going to give away, so it'll be on next Friday's Facebook Live, we are gonna give away the wonderful gems. Oh, look at that glare. Okay, if we get right in there, right? So they're pretty like kind of a real red and kind of a clear, but they've got the champagne kind of glitter on them too. You can see them a little bit more on the clear ones. There's definitely champagne glitter on the red 
red, but it's so bright and sunny you can't tell very well. So this is what we will draw for uh, next week's Facebook Live. If you share the video or sign up for my email list, those are the two ways you can get your name in the drawing for next week, okay? Ooh, I always feel like I talk a mile a minute. I think I just can't not. I get so excited about Facebook Live that I just like get to get chatty, super chatty, super quick, super fast. <laughs> anyway, so um, what else is going on? There's always more good stuff to tell you guys about. Well, um, actually, so normally I would do the next drawing for, and I didn't even bring it over, but it was for the Neutrals Designer Series paper. But guys, I didn't have any online orders last week, so I couldn't give that paper away. I had to put it back in my stash, and now I'll get to play with it myself, which is fun. I enjoy that too. But I do truly appreciate your online orders. Um, so I thank you in advance for any orders that you're able to put in through me. Um, like I said, that kind of really helps keep me going, my business going. It's basically Basically, my paycheck for doing Facebook Lives every week is your online order. So I do truly appreciate those. Um, any support of my business, whether it's um, the sharing of the videos, uh, the online ordering, if you love the class to go kits, um, just telling other people about Facebook Live. I appreciate all of that that you help me out with in my business. So thank you guys. So next week, we are going to give away, I've got an awesome, awesome, awesome stamp set to give away. So if you put an online order in of at least $30, I'll give you the host code in just a little bit. It's always on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win this awesome, I love. This is the, oh my goodness, there's the glare, the warm, hugs stamp set if you guys can see that right so i'm going to tell you about the sentiments <laughs> this is a cute one the first one it says man that glare i'm going to have to pull the table back when we start stamping too you're the marshmallows to my cocoa it's that long one right there right and then some of the circles this one says for you this one says um oops there was a little hair there there's the, this one's on me. Oh, that's cute. I couldn't even like read what it said. This one's on me. Merry Christmas is that one. Warm hugs to you all season long. That's a cute one too, right? And then look at all the cute imagery, right? Like the little Christmas trees and candy canes. And it looks like you can kind of fill things in. The stars, the little hot cocoa mug. And then this one is fun. I like you a latte and so very merry. And ah, this is cute, right? Eat, drink, and be cozy. And then happy Christmas. And then another fun image right there. And there are dies that will cut these things out. I'm sure we have um, circle dies or punches that would cut those circles out too. Um, so super cute stamp set. Your name will go in the drawing next week if you put an online order in of at least $30 and use my host code. You can always find the host code in the details above this YouTube video and on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Okay. You will also get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a few minutes. And if you bump your order up to $50, this month's free embellishment you can choose from either the free embellishment or the 16 project demo design dream team PDF tutorial. So the free embellishment for this month is the blue gems. We're actually going to play with these again today because these are my most absolute favorite. Like I, I just cannot stop playing with these blue, these beautiful blue gems. These are supposed to be like a night of naming. I think a balmy blue, um, but they, they're so like kind of faceted. Lots of different colors can kind of happen um, with those, especially with the sun shining. <laughs> so $50 order, you can pick from either those gems, the blue gems, or this is our no November demo design dream team PDF tutorial. And I actually think I'm going to, when I flip the camera down, I'll do a quick flip through here so you guys can see, because I think, I mean, I kind of, you can kind of see right here, right? I think this um, tutorial is like I don't know, 30, 30, 35 pages long. So, and you can see all the detail in here too. Um, pictures, um, everything that you need to know to create these projects is in here as well. So free with a $50 order, okay? All right, <clears throat> let me just check my notes. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, because the only, yeah, yeah, let's just flip the camera down. Because um, the other things, are, I have more to show you with the camera down, I think, than I do up. So wow, we're like speedy Gonzalez today. Although it's already, <laughs> I say that and then I'm like, oh wow, already 20 minutes have almost gone by. So okay, turn your heads away. We are going to fly through the air. I'll get that set right there too. Okay. Um, and then I'll show you some more good stuff. So hold on one sec. Turn your heads away for one moment. I think I'm going to move the um, table too while I'm at it here. Oops. 
Oh, Facebook doesn't like something there. Are we okay? I think we are. It was kind of saying I rotated my phone. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to be all right. Okay, so here's your host code for November. All right, hold on one sec. We're going to carefully... I try not to scratch my floors up too much. <laughs> and there's... Okay, the glare is massive today. Hold on, ladies. There we go. I think we found a good spot for now. Okay. All right. So here is our November host code, the NMDTRRD2. So like I said, use that host code when you order online. You can pick from either the free gems or here is the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. These are yours free with the $50 order. So I'm going to do a super quick kind of flip through here so that you can see all of the detail, all of the beautiful projects, and all of the info. Oh, these are fun, like a birthday calendar. Okay, they even give you all the dates on there too. I'm like looking at these as I go, because I printed it and then I threw it in my bag and I kind of forgot all about it. But look at all, ooh, that looks super cute, doesn't it? Right, so lots of good ideas here. And then pictures too, to kind of tell you <clears throat> what you need to know how to make all of these projects. Lots of kind of Christmas um, gift idea, really. Lots of Christmas gift ideas here, I'd say. So, ooh, that one's cute too. With, they showed something similar to that um, last night on the On Stage Live too. So there, you get kind of the idea, right? So I don't even know how many pages that was. A lot of pages though. But that tutorial is yours free with a $50 order, okay? All right, so I want to show you guys... Let's talk about the Trimming the Town class to go. And like I said, this weekend I will get everything uploaded to YouTube. I'll be emailing about it. But in the meantime, I'm going to tell you guys, this is like first, you're the first to know about this. I love, okay. Um, actually, let me pull, let's grab the catalog here. I did not mark the page, so we're gonna kind of flip until we come to the Trimming the Town Suite. So, so I've had so much fun playing. I think it's the pretty, like the fun bright colors too. So the colors used are Poppy Parade, Old Olive Pool Party, Misty Moonlight, and Early Espresso. I think it's just a really fun, bright color combo for your Christmas or kind of winter projects. Um, I actually had a friend um, at the retreat that was making, well, I guess she kind of used this house right here, but she has a friend who is a real estate agent. And so she was making cute cards, you know, kind of like congratulations on your new home um, with this stamp set too. So it's, it's great for like Christmas, holiday, winter things, but then it's also super cute for something like that also. So check out all of the fun products in that Trimming the Town suite. There's designer series paper right here, the stamp set and the dies, the embellishments, and then the ribbon. So for this class to go, I'll show you little bit closer up. So we have the Coming Home stamp set. And I am so excited. Next week, I think this is going to be my product of the week. And I'm going to show you guys another fun project. Um, that I, well, I'll make two of them, actually, right? So um, yeah, I'm, as I'm like saying that, I'm like, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, don't hold me to it, but I'm pretty sure that was my plan. <laughs> yes, Teresa, you love the whole suite also. That's awesome. Yeah, but there's a really cute... So what I was thinking, um, and actually they kind of show you here too, but I just loved this idea because I didn't do it um, in my retreat in a box or this class to go. So I'm thinking, oh, I got to do it on Facebook Live. But I love... So do you see how they made this house? It's actually one, two, three stamps, and then plus the leaf or the wreath and then the... Um, um, the trees. So they stamped this one and then they layered this on the front and then they layered that on the front of that. And I just think that was, I was like so excited. So we're probably gonna have to try that next week, come up with something fun with that, right? So love, this is just a cute, I love like the simplicity of it too, but then they've got the detail with the roofs and kind of the accents and things. So super cute stamp set. And then of course the dies called the Home Together dies that are gonna cut most of all of these images out. The one that I don't think it does is the little lamp post. You would have to do that one separately, but I think pretty much everything else, the little smokestack too, maybe not the poof of smoke, but all of the other images you can cut out with your um, dies, right? So let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you about the different options that are available for the trimming the town class to go, okay? 
So as always, in my class to go, we make four projects, two of each of them. So we've got this card right here. We've got the peace, love, and joy. We've got that, oops, there's that one, and then that one right there. So again, four cards, two of each of them, in the class to go. Option number one includes the stamp set, so the coming home stamp set and the dies, right? You also get a half a pack of the Trimming the Town DSP. Like, look at how cute that paper is, right? So I'm gonna kind of flip and show you. Um, we'll come, no, actually, I'll just show you right there. So those are like cute little fun squiggles, right? And then the polka dots, super duper cute. The backside of that one, the trees, more of these houses. And the fun thing, all of these images, you can use the dies to cut them out. So certainly you can fussy cut them with your scissors, or you can just lay your dies right on there and you can cut all those um, images out. So some fun stripey there. This is Misty Moonlight and then more snowflakey Misty Moonlight paper. More houses. Look at how cute those are. So super cute. And then actually, because this stamp set doesn't have any sentiments in it, I just cut um, the sentiments right out of this paper and popped them on the card. So I thought that was a fun, easy way um, to add the sentiments, right? And then we've got the wreaths and then the cute little ice skating people. Look at, they're all, woo, they're all ice skating, right? And then um, kind of a fun diagonal stripe in old olive, right? So you get a half a pack of the designer series paper. You also get a full package, which I don't have a full package right now, but you get the, all the trimmings, embellishments in the class to go. And then you get full bolts of the all the trimming ribbon combo pack, which it comes in old olive and poppy parade with that beautiful gold stitching on the edge. I love that stitching, right? You actually, what do you get for free? Actually, you get the designer series paper for free in option number one um, and the PDF tutorial that tells you step by step how to put all those projects together, right? So option number one is $84. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the dies, you're going to want to make sure you have the stamp set and the dies because you have to do your own stamping and die cutting, right? You will get the full or the half a pack of the Trimming the Town Designer Series paper, the ribbon and the embellishments and the PDF tutorial and all the parts and pieces to make four cards or eight cards, two of each of the four cards, right? So option number two is $37. And then also option number one and two, you can um, select porch pickup if you're local to me, or it's an additional $8 for priority mail shipping for the projects to get mailed, you know, everything mailed to you, the whole kit, right? Option number three is just the PDF tutorial. That is $15. It is always available. Um, you can get that at any time now, a year from now, whenever you like. Um, so that one's always available. It's also free to anybody in my downline, any of my Inkspired stampers. So that's another great reason to get the starter kit through me is you can get those PDF tutorials for free every single month from me. And even past tutorials too. Those are available to anyone, any of my current downline members as well. Option number four is also for anybody that is an Inkspired stamper. They can get the make and takes uh, for cost. It's just $12. You get all the parts and pieces to make the cards. You do still need your own stamp set and dies, you're going to want to get those through your own demo ID so you get your discount, right? So option number, actually four that is, for the downline make and takes is $12. Um, what else do you need to know? RSVPs are due two weeks from today on Friday, November 20th, and these kits will ship out no later than December 2nd, okay? So let me know if you have any questions on those, um, and we'll be playing some more with this next week too, because um, I just can't get enough of this suite, I'm telling you ladies. Okay. All right, where are my notes? I buried them underneath all these things, right, too. Um, oh, one other thing I thought I would just mention, too. The class to glow class to go that I do every month is also a club option. So if you think, ooh, I would love to get those class to go kits every month sent to you, you can pick either option number one or option number two every single month. Um, it's a 12-month commitment. You actually get $30 in free host benefits one month, the month you are the host of the class to go club. And then I always love to send you cute little club member treats as well. So if you have any interest in getting the class to go and then maybe saying, hey, I want to get a fun kit mailed to me every single month, I want to join the class to go club. So let me know if you have any questions on that, okay? All right, let me, I just buried my notes again. Isn't that ridiculous? Okay. Oh, yeah, no, I think we're good. I think I showed you everything. So I think we can do our stamping now. I keep thinking there's something else, but yeah. Okay, so let me grab my grid paper. 
We'll get this set, so I'll move that up. I really need you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, right? Am I in? I think I'm in view there. Okay, all right, so I have a couple of fun little treat ideas for you. Um, let me show you. This is, um, we're gonna do this little, this little kind of baby treat box here. So I didn't put, these are um, some new to me anyway. Are they, they're like a, what did they, they said sugar. Oh, they're like a sugar cookie Hershey Kiss somehow, but aren't they so cute? I just found these. The, I have to tell you, um, it's a little bit hard. I thought like, right, like the day after Halloween, I'd have no problem finding Christmas treats. Um, but I, I did have a little bit of a hard time, but I thought these were cute. This little silver, I thought fit um, perfectly with that little treat box, right? So the silver on the little Hershey Kisses. So we have this fun little, have a sugar sprinkled season. My favorite season, the sugar sprinkled season, <laughs> right? So let me show you how to make this cute little treat box, right? So can you see, I'm trying not to dump them all out all over the place, um, but we've got some fun, just to look there, you can kind of see from the back too. So just a cute little guy. Maybe I should have put those in a little bag or something, but I didn't because I wanted to see how cute the little wrapping was on them too so okay all right let me get my things here need a quick sip of water already mm. and now my stamp and cut in the boss machine is way over there so i'm going to grab it real quick so it's closer for me <laughs> all right let me tell you guys what we need here get these things out okay so this little baby guy doesn't take much in terms of cardstock. So we have, this is a piece, thank you, Julie, for the share. I always appreciate that. So we have, um, this is Pacific Point cardstock, and it measures four inches by six and a half inches. And then I think the only other one size-wise, these are all just scraps of Whisper White, Pacific Point, and then Silver Foil. We're gonna do some stamping and die cutting with those. This is the little piece of designer series paper. Part of the Snowflake Splendor Suite, so that's what I was kind of saying. I used that suite of products again because I can't get enough of it. There's one of the little um, snowflakes there too, but that's the designer series paper, right? So cute, 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 right? So this piece you need to know, dimension. This one measures two inches by one and three quarters, and then that's just going to go right on the front of that guy there. Okay. Actually, we do need that punch too. Okay. I need this piece that I piled a bunch of stuff up on. Okay. Yep. And then I'm, <laughs> story of my life, like trying to rearrange everything. Okay, so I want you guys to be able to see. Uh, I'm glad you like the treats, Philomena. She is one of my class to go club members. So thank you so much, Philomena. I appreciate that. Okay, so along the, let's, we're gonna go short side first. So along the short side, we, yep, you guys can see, we're gonna score this at one inch and at three inches. Okay, and then along the long side, we're gonna score it at two and one quarter. Look, I got like confused on my notes. Three and one quarter and five and a half. Okay, so that's it. Super simple scoring to make our little baby tree box there. Okay, let's see, I got all these things here. I'm trying to make sure I tell you guys about everything, right? Okay, so let me grab, so we're gonna fold along all of our score lines. Okay, all right, so now you are basically going to, <laughs> thank you, Philomena. She says it's a great deal, the class to go club. So you're basically, these little tabs right here, we're gonna cut up along that middle one and then along the one kind of on the top or the end, we're actually just gonna cut those little babies off. Okay, so we're gonna do that one there. And then same thing right here, we're just gonna cut these little guys off, okay? And then here again, we're just, gonna, just going to, just gonna, just gonna, just gonna, right? <laughs> cut up there. So the idea to make your box is you're gonna fold those little babies in. We're actually gonna put adhesive right there and there, and then we're gonna fold the back in and we're gonna adhere those there. We're gonna put adhesive here and here, and then we're gonna fold that in. But before we actually make our box, we're gonna put our designer series paper on the front because it's so much easier to put this on when it's laying flat, and we're also gonna uh, punch the top of this with our little tag topper punch. OK, 
okay? And as I'm saying this, because I can't remember the name of this, I will have all of the item codes, the names of the products, everything that we use to make these projects will be on my blog this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So I'll know what this tag punch is um, in just a little while. So we, I want you to sh see the, how I folded these little tabs in so I can slide this baby all the way in, make sure it's straight, and then press down, and voila! Isn't that so cute? I love that little tag punch. Super, super cute, right? Okay, so that little bit. Now we're gonna grab our adhesive, and we're gonna put our paper. Let's make sure that one was on here, right? So this is gonna be the front, so we are gonna put our designer series paper so you guys can see, right? Because I did learn this the hard way. I forgot to put it on the first one that I made before I made it. Okay, so now we are going to add, and I'm going to use my um, Seal Plus because I need, um, oops, that did not. Oh, and I have been pressing too hard, ladies. So this thing is kind of like, I was going to try to be really careful that that didn't happen, and then I went and did it anyway. But that's good. Then you guys can kind of see how I fix it, right? Okay, so let's try to not push quite so hard. There we go. Okay, so did you see that again? That little guy, that little guy. I know that tag topper is beautiful, isn't it, Philomena? I, I agree. Okay, so we're just gonna do that one there and that one there. And then we're gonna add some more adhesive kind of along this outside edge with my Seal Plus. You wanna use the Seal Plus because it's a little bit heavier duty adhesive. And I think it's easiest to work with this right on the table. Then you get those good folds right on there too. Okay, I'm gonna pull this into, you know what we'll do? What if we just take a couple of those out then they won't move quite so much, okay? So you can see where we're at now. We need to, now we're gonna do our stamping. So I have to show you guys this cute little stamp set too. This is the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set. I think it came out maybe in last year's holiday catalog, carried over, it's actually in the annual catalog. So if you think, oh, I haven't seen that, maybe because you haven't peeked, um, there are a number of stamp sets that carried over from last year's holiday catalog that are now in the annual catalog. So I have to tell you guys about these sentiments because look at, there are so many great sentiments on here. Um, lots of good ones that'll fit like on a little half inch wide strip of paper, like all of those would, right? Um, so, and just so many different ways to say kind of Merry Christmas, right? Like very merry, there's a little to and from. This is the one we used right here, right? Have a sugar sprinkled season, thinking of you at Christmas. I love that one too. Joy to the world, that one's beautiful also, right? Then there's a believe, that's cute, right? Or fun, no peeking till Christmas. From our home to yours, oh, what yum. Happy Christmas. And then this is fun, right? Lots of love at Christmas. Blessed Christmas wishes. Celebrate the season. Season's greetings. Peace and happiness. Happy holidays. Christmas cheer. That is really wiggly today, isn't it? Sorry about that. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. So yeah, a great sentiment, itty bitty Christmas stamp set, okay? So again, we're gonna use that, have a sugar sprinkled season because I thought that was very appropriate with the little Hershey Kisses, right? And um, I love... I'm a, <laughs> I have a really bad sweet tooth, ladies. <laughs> oh, there's not much, there aren't many sweet treats that I don't enjoy. Okay, so we've got our Pacific Point ink. We are going to press straight down. I'm going to press pretty firmly because that's kind of, um, you know, that's um, pretty fine um, detail writing, I guess, on that stamp. So I'm going to make sure I get it stamped well enough. Okay, so now what else are we going to do? Let's, let me show you. We are actually using, these are the Ornate Frames dies. So these were actually um, a bunch of dies that came out again in last year's holiday catalog as part of one of the Halloween suites that we had. But do you guys see all of the different, this is just a great tag um, die set basically. So we're going to use these two right here um, are what we used on those right there. So we're going to use the white one there, and then that'll go on our Pacific Point cardstock. And then we also need, so my other absolute favorite, been so loving these So Many Snowflakes dies. So can you see all of those right there, right? And they're even more. We're going to use that little baby one on some silver foil paper. Okay, so let's scoot these things out of the way. And we will do our die cutting. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clean... 
Since I'm cleaning up, I'm gonna clean that stamp with my little scrub. I actually washed this, or rinsed it, I'd say. I won't say I washed it, I rinsed it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's grab our cut and emboss machine. Okay, we've got that. Is that in view, I think? Right, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about. So Stampin' Up! announced, you guys can see this is my um, magnetic plate, like the kind of, um, well, our new magnetic plate. It's supposed to be self-healing. The problem, I guess, mine is kind of bowing. I guess some people's are really bowing. They're just definitely having issues with it. So they have basically said that they're turning off this item code. We cannot order the magnetic kind of adapter plate Right now, they are working on whatever quality issues, um, you know, trying to figure out what they can do to help us out. But if you actually ordered one of these already, Stampin' Up! is going to send you like a coupon code, I believe, kind of as a refund for this. Um, so just know that it'll be coming, I think they said sometime this month or maybe the beginning of December. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to use it any longer just because I don't want you to think that you can get it and you can't get it. I don't know. It's kind of confusing because I'm going back to my magnetic platform from the old Big Shot because I just want to do that. I know that's maybe not what they want me to do, but I love the magnetic um, ability of this. They basically set a workaround if you know, if you don't have one of these, didn't get one ordered, and maybe if you don't have one of these in your old stash, um, is to use sticky notes or something. So I don't want to do that. So we're going to go back to this one. So I apologize. Hopefully I'm not teasing anybody with this one, but that's what I'm choosing to do for now anyway. Okay, so we have our Pacific Point card stock. We have our Whisper White that we stamped, and then we have some silver foil paper that we're going to do our little snowflake on. So this is the main one. I just need to make sure that this guy is lined up right there. Okay. So we're going to crank our handle here. Sorry if that's a wiggly. I have to go back through because that snowflake, there's so much detail to it. Um, <clears throat> ooh, that moved a little bit. Uh, it's not too bad. Okay. It went a little off kilter there. That's all right. I'll deal with it. Okay, let's put those back in there. Okay, so we've got our blue and then our little sentiment. I think you won't even notice it once I put it on there, right? And then there's this little baby. So this one, we are gonna use our little um, paper piercing tool. Let's get those little centers out and then if I pop, that. This one's pretty delicate, so you want to be a little bit careful. Sometimes these pop right out. I don't know what the trick is, but there. Isn't that beautiful? Love. Ha. Huh? Oh, it's just so pretty. Okay. All right, we'll put that right there because I think we're going to need that again. All right, let's get this baby out of the way. And I think we can kind of finish putting things together. So simple little treat box idea. We're going to add, I'm just going to use my regular seal on this. And I'm kind of working on my little silicone craft sheet, especially with this little baby right here. because I'm going to flip him over. I'm going to put some adhesive. So this thing allows me to not get adhesive all over my uh, grid paper, right? I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals to put behind that little sentiment, right? Okay, so we're going to just put this thing, our sentiment right there, and then we're going to grab our, uh, trying to put him over far enough so that I don't cover up the sentiment. There we go. Then, of course, we have to add just a little bit of bling. We are going to grab one of our little rhinestones, just a regular rhinestone on this one. I thought it worked well with the silver foil. Okay, we can put that right in there. And then last step, I have just a little bit left of, this is the Pool Party Sheer Ribbon. I've used this ribbon so much. And it works really, really well with this sweet, this Snowflake Splendor suite of products. So we are just gonna tie a bow. Okay, I'm trying to make it look easy. It's really not that difficult, but the ribbon's being a little funny with me. Okay, so pull that tight, and I kind of like to hold on to 
the ends to tighten it up a little bit, right? Maybe right about there, like that. Okay, so we are going to just kind of trim off our ends there. And there we go. So how about that cute little treat? And then you can fill it. I'll just put a couple of these. <laughs> you can fill it with whatever you like. So I actually made these a couple of years ago for one of my retreats. Um, it was in the springtime, so I had those little... Um, it was um, a Reese's egg, like the peanut butter egg fits perfectly. So size-wise, if you're thinking about what fits in here, you can fit quite a few of these little Hershey Kisses in there if you'd like. Um, but like I said, those little eggs, the Hershey egg, um, the, or not the Reese's egg, I guess it is, fits perfectly right down inside there. So just a cute little treat guy, little treat holder, right? Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that one. And then I've got, now I've got like a bigger treat box to show you. Okay, so let's scoot and put those right there. Okay, trying to, you know, get organized, stay organized. All right, I think we're good. Another sip of water. And, okay, check this one out. So we actually, there, can you guys see? I made these, so we played bingo at the stamp studio earlier this week, and I made these little treat bags for everybody. I put a different treat in here because <laughs> this one I went like super crazy. So this is almost the like a half a package, if not more, of those Hershey Kisses. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't, this is really heavy, but I thought it's so cute and fun to put it in. Um, this is one of our six by eight cello bags. And then I loved this ribbon. I've seen this used. Like I was thinking, ooh, I kind of missed my opportunity that I didn't use this mesh, like the metallic mesh ribbon. I didn't really use it much at Halloween time but I've seen it on Christmas projects and I think it's beautiful you can like almost barely see it with that sun glaring right so I'll show you a picture too but I loved that on there also so okay let me tell you guys how to make this little this uh, not little right it's a kind of a huge treat box if you will okay so this time we are going to start with this was actually a full sheet of Misty Moonlight cardstock and all I did was cut off a half an inch. So I end up with this piece measuring eight by 11 inches, okay? So then that, we're gonna use this piece for our handle right here, so don't get rid of, right? We're gonna use that piece right there. And then the rest, let me show you or tell you, right? Let me find my dimensions here. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, let's score it and then I'll tell you how we're gonna make this too. And I will tell you guys, I would, if you haven't ordered what you need to make your Christmas cards or your Christmas treat ideas, I would definitely start thinking about that sooner than later. Cause right, like now's the time, get everything ordered. Cause once like Thanksgiving comes, then the holidays get kind of crazy. Um, so I think it's just a perfect time right now to get your things ordered um, so that you can start making your Christmas cards and your holiday products, projects before life gets too crazy, right? Okay, so along the eight inch side, we are going to score this at two inches and at six inches, okay? And then along the 11 inch side, we're gonna score it at four and a half and six and a half, and that's it, okay? So again, it's really um, a very much the same idea as the little baby box that I just showed you. Um, it's just a much bigger version of it, really, okay? So, and we don't have that little piece on the end, but you could, well, you would have to use a 12 by 12 piece, but you could add that piece right here too, and then you could do something fun. You could even just round the corners or do something fun with that also. So actually here, I'm gonna fold along these again, right? So we're gonna take that and that, there we go. Okay, so same idea where you just cut up along the score lines of these smaller tabs up to that intersecting score mark. Okay, so we're gonna do that here and here, okay? Um, also, because I am thinking, I am thinking, ladies, I really am, we are going to add right now to the front because it's easier. This is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. We're gonna add that to the front of our treat box. Measures four and a quarter by three and three quarters. Okay, that one's gonna go right there. And then our piece of designer series paper that measures four by three and a half. We have that glare again, don't we? The sun keeps moving. 
<laughs> there. I think that might get us through <laughs> till the end of Facebook Live, I'm hoping. Okay, so let's add these pieces before we actually put our box together, okay? So I'm just using my regular seal for that one, and I think I'm going to use my seal plus because these are going to be a little bit thicker, heavier now with both of them on here, and I want to make sure they stay on my tree box. Okay, so we're just going to add those right there. Okay, now I'm looking to make sure I haven't screwed anything up, but I think I'm good. Okay, so now same idea where we're just going to fold in along here and I'm going to use my seal plus on these edges. Oops, get that going again. So that does do that sometime. I don't really know why. We're just going to kind of try to keep... Ooh, that's really pulling a lot. I've not had that happen before. I've heard other people talk about how it's happened to them, so I'm just kind of pulling that off. And let's start on the other. Let's start over here. Wow, what is going on? Okay, I don't know. I've not had this happen before, so I'm not sure why it keeps kind of pulling on my cardstock. Do one more time, there, okay. So I'm kind of thinking that since it's already like lifted up, I might keep doing that, but if we just kind of, we're gonna try to go in areas where it hasn't already lifted up too much. There we go, okay, I think we're good. So that is the front. So I always like, just so you guys kind of are thinking about this too, I like for the front of my box, which is right here, I like these things to fold back in rather than having let me show you what I mean. It might be easier if I just do this side, right? So I think it looks more finished when I fold the back in here, and then this goes this way. Like I would rather have that edge on the back right here than the other way where this would be like on the front. I don't, I don't like having that seam on the front as well, okay? So again, we are going to, let's see if this will, Hopefully we're over that little moment, right? Okay, we got that one there, that one there, got that one there, and there. Okay, all right. So sometimes too, I think I go a little bit too fast and maybe that's part of my problem. Okay, so we got that one. And, and that one right there. Okay, so I'm gonna just press firmly inside here and I'm gonna do that along the front there too, okay? So there's our box, right? See how simple and easy that is? Now I want to grab, I just grabbed like a, a pen or something. I wanna kind of curl this just a little bit. Okay, this is our handle. So I, I stuck this all over. I was going to try to clean it off, but it's, well, I'll clean it off later. Those are all the little bits that came when I <laughs> was trying to put the box together. Okay, so we're going to use, again, our Seal Plus on, the, on this strap. And we're just going to put one right there. I'm going to flip this over, and we're going to put the other one right there, okay? So we're going to press firmly on both of those to make sure those are on there tight, right? Then we are going to finish decorating our box, right? So we're gonna stamp on our strip of Whisper White and then we're gonna do some die cutting with those. Um, what are those called? Those are called snowflakes. Amy. Okay, so here we go. We've got our Misty Moonlight ink. This stamp is from the Snowflake Wishes stamp set. So again, you're kind of getting the idea, right, of how much I love this suite of products, right? So we're gonna use this stamp right here that says, our friendship is one of a kind. I thought that was kind of fun to give all the ladies at Bingo, because I consider all of my customers my friends as well, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, so we're gonna stamp that on. And I forgot to mention, this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is, it's a one inch wide strip, so one inch by three and a half. And that is just gonna go right on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So we're gonna pop this one. I think I went right about there. Looks good, right? Okay, now let's do our die cutting with our new cut and emboss machine. And, and I've got some, so I've got some glimmer paper here 
and what am I doing here? I've got lots of misty moonlight cardstock. I'm not sure why I had that much. Okay, so that's kind of falling off. We'll get that in a sec. Okay, so we are going to use this kind of outline die on our misty moonlight, and then I need a bigger one. Oops, I actually have it over here, don't I? Where is it? Okay, I didn't lose it. And then the smaller. So we've got our two snowflakes, the detailed snowflakes. We're going to do in the balmy blue glimmer paper, which is gorgeous. Ladies, you are going to love that. If you don't have that balmy blue glimmer paper yet, you better get some. <laughs> it's, it's like a yummy. It's yummy, yummy. It's just beautiful. It's really probably more beautiful than it is yummy, right? But I love all of the glittery fun that it creates. So this is pretty even just like this, just the dye, right? That snowflake, isn't that lovely, right? Okay, so we've got that one. And then let's see, are these going to pop? Ooh, that one's going to, okay. So we're going to have to punch this one, poke this one out, and then this one is actually in there. You can almost see it better on the back side, right? Okay, so let's see. We can get this stuff out of the way, though right there okay so let's do this so we can just and you just want to be kind of careful here to because it is delicate right if I had run this back and forth another couple of times this might have even popped right out of here I'm trying to be extra careful normally I just kind of yank it out but I have ripped a couple of those off so I'm trying to be extra careful okay there we go so Look at that, that balmy blue glimmer paper, beautiful. Okay, so I find it almost easier to work um, looking at it from the back side. I can see like the perforations a little bit better. I think it's because of all that glittery ness on there. It's hard to kind of see, right? Okay, so we've got that one there. And then again, we're just gonna poke. These are little bits that we don't even want in our snowflake. I'm trying to get those off of there. Right. Well, hey, Nikki, how are you? So glad you can join us. I've missed you. Hope things are good out in Salt Lake City area. Okay, I think, ladies, are we ready? We are going to add, so actually, I'm using my little craft sheet again. We're going to put some adhesive behind this one and this one. And then we're going to add that. Oh my gosh, look at all of that beautiful glitter, balmy blue, glimmer, glitter. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. And dimensionals. I've got one right here. Okay. So we're going to put one on the back of that. Okay. And we're going to pop that little baby, maybe right about there. And then we're going to put this one right down there. Could you guys see that? I got so into what I was doing. I wasn't paying any attention to whether I was actually in the camera view or not. Sorry about that if I was not. Okay, so then I have just a few of these left. I definitely need to get some more of these little, the blue adhesive backed gems, they're called. Okay, so I'm gonna use, we're gonna use the, this is more of like the Knight of Navy. We'll use one, oops, and then I flung it away, okay? It is kind of helpful, that little glue dot. You kind of use your snips there. Okay, so we've got one there. I think I'm gonna use, then yeah, let's use the darker. I can't remember which one I used, but it might show up. They're both beautiful, the darker, the lighter. So what do you think about that, right? Isn't it gorgeous? Yes, but then we're not quite done. Let's add a couple more. I think this is so fun. It's kind of like the last little finishing touch on your straps of your um, little treat box, right? So we're gonna add one on each end. Oops, let's scoot that down, maybe right about there, okay? So I'm pressing really firmly to make sure those stay on there. And then that one right there. Okay. So what do you guys think? Isn't that so cute? And then just grab whatever treat you would like, put it in one of our six by eight cello bags, and then tie it up with that beautiful, it's the metallic mesh ribbon. There, you can see it a little bit better on there, right? It's just so pretty. It's like perfect. The perfect little sparkly detail to add to your little cello bag. I love this, so I might be making more of those treats too. So, all right, ladies, 
to kind of wrap up, make sure everybody knows where we are at and how things work around here, right? I've got that little treat. I've got that little treat. Okay, so, and I've actually got that host code right there too. Okay, so make sure if you want to get any of the products that we use to make these projects, uh, you can do that right online at stampinup.com. Make sure you use the host code, the NMDTRRD2. You, if you put an online order in of at least $30, you're going to get both of these projects sent to you. And then if you bump your order, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You get the projects and your name goes in the drawing to win the warm hugs stamp set, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you also get to pick from the free embellishment, the blue gems right there, right? Or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial, right? So thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me today, for hanging in there with me as I've kind of bounced around trying to do the Thursday, Friday thing lately. Um, and I'll warn you, probably coming up like, you know, with the holidays and stuff, there might be a little bit of that Thursday, Friday thing happening, but I'll post. I always try to post the night before and let you guys kind of know ahead of time if I'm going to be doing Facebook Live on Thursday or on Friday. Okay, so thanks guys for hanging in there with me. I appreciate you spending the morning, afternoon with me today. You guys, I hope you'll have a great weekend and thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed these projects. I had so much fun making them. So enjoy. Bye guys. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. Thank you.